Well, good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. You know, I've been asked my opinion on certain shows that have come out that are supposed to have a biblical theme. Shows like The Chosen, or they have shows on Moses and different Bible characters on some of the subscri subscription um, companies out there and different things like that. And people ask me, Do, did you watch it? We, uh, what do you think of it and so forth like this and i learned a long time ago i don't um, i don't trust them and uh i don't trust hollywood to give me my theology i don't turn to hollywood to give me my theology as a matter of fact i don't tr <laughs> i don't expect them to give me uh a biblical account of what the bible says uh it's just it's not going to happen and sure enough that is found to be true uh some of the things that are coming out are now a conglomeration of different uh, theologies out there so it'll take some from Judaism take some from Christianity take some from Islam they'll take some from this and that and everything else and they'll come together with a maybe a concise story uh, about Moses or whoever Joseph or whoever else and and uh, so they they compromise what the Word of God says and I'm not willing to compromise what the Word of God says I could care less what uh, what Islam has to say about anybody when it comes to the Bible, and I certainly could care less what Hollywood has to, what their interpretation of it is. Uh, we have to be careful of these things. Remember, in, uh, during the tribulation period, it's going to come a time where there's going to be a great deception. Uh, we were, as we read earlier this week, that people are not going to tolerate um, uh, sound teachings uh, uh, anymore and they're going to heap up for themselves teachers and uh, that will tickle their ears that will make them feel good and and, uh, and there's a lot of people out there already believe that all basically everybody teaches the same thing anyway so when we when we come up with one religion and and uh, and we'll cut out all this this religious fighting out there and um, and we certainly know that that's what's going to happen in the Great Tribulation, where there's going to be a great deceiver who will stand up and will cause all the world to worship the Antichrist, right? Great apostasy that will take place. And many so-called believers will fall into that, those who are left behind, and they'll fall into that. But in the meantime, uh, many of the, of the so-called saints are falling into that now. And as I said before, sure enough, the errancies are apparent when you have Mormons uh, telling us about the life of Jesus, where their errant doctrines are going to be creep into that and so forth. And, and it has, and it will continue to do so, because um, when you have unbelievers trying to tell uh, the story of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they're always going to get it wrong. And they have, and they will continue to do so. You and I need to be careful of the as, as Galatians tells us about these false teachers out there, they can use the mediums and the purpose of it. And again, is to knock down doctrinal walls and let's, let's stop talking about what we have. Uh, that's what separates us. Let's just talk about what's, what's in common and uh, we can come under one umbrella and, um, and we'll all kumbaya our way up to, to heaven, which is not biblical. Paul warned that. Galatians chapter 1, he says, I marvel that you're so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there, some, there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. And that's what they're doing. They're perverting the gospel of Christ. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which ye have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And we say, as we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that which we have, what you have received, let him be accursed. And so he's saying here that you and I are always to be vigilant, to be careful. Uh, stop looking to Hollywood. Stop looking to um, even some of these preachers on on YouTube, and my videos are on YouTube and so forth, there's some that are worth listening to, and there's some that are not. I mean, they're very popular, popular people, uh, have huge churches and everything else, but what they preach is, is errant uh, according to the scriptures. They're 
They're preaching heresy. They're teaching lies. They're teaching another Jesus, another gospel, another way to get saved. And so let me encourage you. Uh, don't look to Hollywood. Stay away from those type of shows. I know we're so hungry and we're so pleased when there's something uh, that doesn't have cursing and it doesn't have the sex and it doesn't have this and have there's off-color jokes. And so we say, at least it's wholesome. No, no, no. <laughs> why? There's a reason why. There's a reason why, because they're trying to get you in, to knock down your walls. And you say, oh, that's wrong, but that's, you know, that's all right. That's all right. That doesn't really mean anything. It, it sure does. It sure does. It means everything. So let me encourage you. Find your theology in the Word of God. Know the Word of God, and then when you see errant doctrines and errant teachings and stuff like that, you'll be able to discern the truth from the error because there's a lot of error out there that's disguised as truth. I just don't trust them, and I don't want you to trust them either. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.